Here we go. Morning. Sitting here in Waterloo. Whew. Pretty chilly this morning. Uh, wife, she uh, she's off over to the uh, Living History Farms with the grandson, old little Zach Jr. He, uh, his mama, she's at work, so my wife, she, she went over there with him. She'd been wanting to go over there for some time, so she's over there to Living History Farms. Not a real good day for it. Uh, overcast, I don't know if it's raining over there, but, uh, heck, if the temperatures ain't hanging over there like it is here, heck, it's 39 degrees sitting here in Waterloo. Um, not seeing any loads worth a damn uh they're either just too damn cheap or uh they're going into an area that sucks you know why why the heck put yourself in that situation you know um we ain't gonna do that you know the law don't pay a whole heck of a lot and then you put yourself into another situation where you're getting yourself into an area that really doesn't pay all that good so uh why even do it you know just to keep some little bit of revenue coming in i can understand you know but there's no there's no sense in hauling cheap and then turning around putting yourself into another cheap area you know because a lot of these loads you know, they'll put you into a cheap area and then you turn around and, and the only loads are going into another cheap area. Um, no, thank you. So we're just going to deadhead to the house. Um, I've got a, a email off to our direct call uh, in the past videos. You know, I've told you we're working with it, uh, actively working with a, a, a direct call. We was accepted. Yeah. Uh, but it takes a little bit, their corporate office, I think, you know, they, they got to put us in the system. Um, like I said in the previous video, I'm not going to say who it is, but pretty, pretty good sized company. Uh, so it's not just the fact we we can haul out of that one location, we can haul out of any of their locations. So if we, we get a load going over and they got a location in, in another state, um, we can haul, haul out of there as well, uh, whether it's uh, uh, one of their processing facilities or whether it's a coal, out of a cold storage, we can haul out of any of them, which is what I've been working for. Um, on another note, that APU problem I was having with the... Uh, AC, you know, I was unplugging them. Well, I'd noticed a wire, you know, a butt connector, uh, Des Moines, uh, Thermal King. They'd run a wire from my sensor on the back of the sleeper there all the way into the fuse panel, and that didn't really work. And then they turned around, uh, they said they couldn't figure it out. So, I think it was that next week there, um, I had it in, there was another, there was a, a guy that's more experienced in it, and so he ran a wire from the air conditioning compressor in the box all the way into the fuse box, and that worked. But the problem of it is, is both them wires from that sensor on the back of the sleeper and that wire goes into the, into the same one, it, it hooks two of those wires hook in and it hooks into the fuse panel. Well, they used a, a butt connector and I seen a little bit of wire sticking out of there. Well, I tugged on it, it didn't move out. It, it didn't come out or anything. It didn't look like it was loose in there, but it must have, when I pulled out all them wires and fuses and put them back in, when I done that, it must have made a better connection and then the AC worked and at five o'clock in the morning, it kicked off, wouldn't kick it back on. Well, I got to San Antonio at Thermal King down there this last weekend here. Uh, that was that butt connector connection was the problem. Uh, 
they disconnected it, soldered them together, and had that uh, shrink wrap over them, and it's been work. It was working just fine. Now I'm sitting in Waterloo, 39 degrees. Don't need it. But there again, I run Texas every now and again. So heck, even in the winter, you you might need that AC down there every once in a while. But uh, yeah. I'm going to deadhead my happy little butt to Des Moines. Um, got an email off to uh, uh, my direct haul. Hopefully I can get one either later today or tomorrow. If not, I'll just set this weekend too. Uh, you guys have a good one. Do all that good stuff. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, the thumbs up there, the share, subscribe, subscribe by God. Till the next time, thank you.